Well, Brittany, the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says while at OHSU, Sabrina Cox used a single person bathroom where she removed a ceiling tile, climbed through the ceiling and down into another room. Cox removed her restraints, changed her appearance and walked out of the hospital. Now, law enforcement experts say a couple of things went wrong. Anytime you're dealing with a prisoner, uh, they're always a flight risk. Two days after Sabrina Cox escaped law enforcement, she remains on the loose. She was originally arrested on December 8th and charged with identity theft and fraudulent use of a credit card. Now David Sarney, an adjunct professor at the John Jay College of Criminal Justice and a former NYPD detective, says Cox should have never been in a position to escape. Anytime you're transporting, there should be at least two officers with somebody. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says Cox was transported to the hospital by one deputy. And Sarney says law enforcement should have not allowed Cox to use a single person bathroom. They should have also checked the restroom beforehand to ensure she couldn't escape. And while Cox had restraints on, Sarney believes more could have made a difference. We looked at using ankle, ankle bracelets or ankle chains also to keep to maintain that custody where they can't attempt to leave. Now, police say Cox has connections to North Portland and Battleground. And while the search for her continues, Sarney says there will also be an investigation into how Cox was able to escape to begin with. So now we have to look at what the officer was doing while that person was in the bathroom. And I think that's going to be part of the investigation. We reached out to the, both the sheriff's office and OHSU for interview requests. Both declined. Now, if you do have information into Cox's whereabouts, you're urged to contact the sheriff's office. Brittany. All right, Thomas. Thank you.